What's up, YouTube? Now, real quick before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you to everybody that wished us, you know, wished us luck, gave us congratulations for my newborn here. My son was born almost three weeks ago. By the time this video posts, it's been almost three weeks. And that's why there hasn't been a video in a little while because I've just been trying to get as much sleep as I possibly can. I just want to thank you guys. I never thought starting this YouTube channel that there would be a community. There's several people that comment on every single video where they show up in live streams if I'm chatting and they always, you know, tell me how much they like my videos, like my channel. They're very supportive, which is good because there's a lot of hateful things on YouTube too. But the good thing is for every one hateful comment, there's 10 good ones. So I just want to thank you guys for all your love and support. And just know y'all are the reason why I haven't gave up on this yet. And I am keeping up with this and trying to do videos and trying to improve things. So thank y'all. All right, so let's do a quick update here in the backyard. This is my Zoys in my Bermuda. You can see it's kind of starting to go dormant, it's starting to lose a little bit of color. We're starting to get temperatures in the 50s at night. The highs are like 80s, you know, low 80s, barely touching 80 during the day. So it's really starting to kind of slow down. I've cut it twice in the past three weeks, so that's why I know it's really slowed down. But now we're getting to the point of, I just need to keep up with the leaves falling and make sure we keep those mulched in and I don't let them get them too bad and suffocate the lawn below. Probably do a video on that later on once they really start coming down, because you can see we got a lot that's gonna be falling eventually. And before we go up front, we check on the Kentucky bluegrass I planted up there. You know, the midnight Kentucky bluegrass has been about a month since I put that down. Got some good growth going on. I've actually cut it three times so far. We'll get to that in a minute. We'll go up there and look at it. But first, so I was able to get out here about a week, week and a half ago, and I was able to get down my pre-emergent, which was honestly a little bit late on. The temperatures have been in the 70 degree range since we kind of went to the hospital, but life happens thing is not all your weeds are going to populate or grow all at one time as soon as it touches 70 degrees they're going to come in spurts so getting it down at any point is really going to help i actually went with the water soluble prodiamine uh let's see if it'll focus here yeah so i went with the prodiamine i can pick this up from yourmaster.com as always make sure you hit those guys up if you want to get this last year i went with granular and in the springtime i went with a granular but this time i decided i wanted to spray since i got my new spray mate sprayer i figured hey let's do this it's, i think it was a little bit cheaper honestly and i only had to apply it to my backyard here because i seeded the front and you do not apply pre-emergent if you have seeded or if so you need to be able to seed early enough and wait you know a month month and a half before you get that pre-emergent down or it'll stop all growth from your seed as well so now i've only used pre-emergent this will be the third time so the fall spring and this fall and fall and I did not have to use any post-emergent on my lawn this year at all. And everything came up great and the turf is nice and thick so it helped prevent weeds plus the barrier that the pre-emergent applies helps prevent the rest of the weeds. So there was only one spot I had a little bit of trouble and it's because I dug up in the yard right there. And all I did was just kind of handle that area by myself. Just a little bit of crabgrass came up and I pulled it up by hand and the turf kind of filled back in quickly. So I didn't even have to worry about it. So I can't say enough good things about pre-emergent. Whether you want to spray it as a liquid or if you want to be a lot easier on yourself, put down as a granular, I will link those below. Go check them out. And if you're catching this video later in the season and it's past the point of putting it down for the fall, soil temperature 70 degrees, soil temperature 55 degrees in the spring. 70 in the fall, 55 in the spring. That's what you're going to be looking for. And I'll leave a link below to Soilcast. You just put in your address and it'll tell you what your average temperature is. And that lets you know whether or not you need to be applying it or not. But now for us down here in the south, it's time. End of September, October is when you're going to be wanting to put down your fall pre-emergent. So you hit that window. And if you're a couple weeks behind, say you catch this towards the end of October, end of November, it's still okay to apply this because what you're going to do is you're still going to catch some of those weeds and you're going to prevent. Now you might not prevent 100%, but you might catch it at the 70% mark. So it's good to go ahead and get it down no matter what time you find this. And if you have missed the window, we're into winter now and it's too cold for the weeds, then just wait. In the springtime, start it then. And you will notice a great difference in your yard once you steadily start using pre-emergence. It's been the number one thing. Even my neighbor over here started using pre-emergence. His yard looked 10 times better just in the first spring and fall of using it. And I didn't really put a whole lot of footage together when it came to me putting together my pre-emergent or the rates I used. All of, I used all label rates. I used my spray mate sprayer to put it down. I got a little bit of footage spraying, but I actually had to drag my wife out with the baby. I actually turned the volume on just one second so you can hear the baby's crying while she's trying to film this. It took like two minutes. I said, hey, just come get a couple shots and shoot back in the house. So that's what she did. So I will say thank you for her for that because I know she did not want to come out here and do it. So that's why there's not a whole lot when it comes to the pre-emergent. If there is more, I'll link some resources below that you can go a little more in depth on other people's videos that'll show you the whys and hows a little bit more. But I'm just trying to get the word to you. It's time for pre-emergent. Use pre-emergent. All right, so it's a cloudy, overcast day. Let's go up here and check out this Kentucky bluegrass. I think you're gonna be surprised. It's already looking great. I'm in love with it already and it's just starting out. So let's check it out. 
Oh, and real quick, if you're one of those people that's watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe below so that we can keep up with all the content in the future because you're going to want to see this Midnight Kentucky Bluegrass, especially going into next spring when the Bermuda starts waking up too and we have Blue Muda going on. And I'm not going to be real mowing. I'm going to be doing a rotary mower on to show you you can do it too and you don't have to have a real mower to have a great yard. So make sure you hit subscribe because you're going to want to see it. Thank you all. So in the front yard here, we're going to check out what I've done. And I'm going to give you some close-ups. So you can see it's actually nice and green. It's getting some good color coming in. And I've got pretty even coverage coming up now. I did have to come back and reseed this ditch bank because it washed out. A couple days after I put this seed down, we did get some rain. And to be honest, we just got some rain again for the first time. It's rained twice since this seed's been down, which has been a month. So it really hasn't helped it out. And I noticed my watering wasn't very even. So some germinated before the rest did. So I came back and fixed that. And I've actually come back and put two more pounds of seed down to help fix what washed out, raked it in, try to get a little more seed to soil contact here. And let's just jump down here and check it out. All right, so I am gonna come out here and mow this a little bit because it lays down some great stripes. And I'm using my broom stripe kit. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'm striping my lawn with a broom, so it's not gonna hurt this new seed. If you have a roller or you know, you're striping with a rolling kit so it's weighted and it rolls across, don't use that on new seed just yet. But I'm not really compressing the seed down, I'm just kind of brushing it one way. So I'm gonna lay some stripes down and show you how it looks already, and it looks great. I can't wait for a couple more months of growth here because this is gonna be freaking awesome. So let's mow it once it dries out a little bit and we'll come back. Well, that was a fail. I was gonna try to show some stripes, but of course it's cloudy and the sun's not breaking at all. So if this actually shows up worth the crap on camera, I'll leave it. But if not, I'll post it in the community tab in a couple of days or tomorrow or something, if we get some sunshine. Can't really show stripes too good when there's no sun. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. Just a short video, no rhyme or reason. I'm just telling you, it's time to get pre-emergent down if you haven't. And also giving you an update on my overseed project here in the front yard with my Kentucky bluegrass. And just basically I didn't have a whole lot of time to get a whole lot of things together. A little bit sleep deprived, so that's okay. So hopefully next week we can get back in the swing of things and start getting some more videos out there. So it's probably not going to be a how-to video. I kind of got away from what I said I was going to do at the beginning. I was basically just going to show you what I'm doing to my yard. And I'm going to try to help teach a little bit, but I'm not exactly a professor in this. So I'm just going to give you a few things that will help you out and show you what I'm doing so you can follow along if you would like to. And if you need more information or results or the whys and the hows of what I'm using, I'll be sure to give you that information and send you to the correct places so you can learn what's going on if you want to but if not just following along with what i'm doing we'll give you a pretty good yard i mean look what it's got me in the three years this was bare dirt three years ago this is only my first summer well half a summer of seed one summer of last year i started this youtube channel and then this year and it's already great so with all that said this is shane heath i'll see you next week